Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about three things you need to know about the Tao Te Ching. So we are going to start with this word Tao in Chinese. Tao. What does Tao mean in Chinese? So Tao simply it means nature. And in the Western world, we talk about the law of the universe, which is kind of a similar idea. It means like there is a higher power out there that's taking care of everything and makes everything function under the right operation. So to dig it deeper, it actually means the art of giving or the idea of delivering. So think about everything in nature. Does the nature charge us everything for the the air that we breathe in, breathe out? Does it? Does the nature charge you for clean water? Does the nature charge for everything that's you know all those basic for survival? No, not at all, right? And another example would be I'll just say a random example. So, so for example, there's a huge safari, and there are a lot of nomads with uh, their cattle or sheep living in that area. They live from place to place because when, once all those grass are being eaten by those sheep, by those animals, then they will move to other places. And what happened here is that all those things are free. Firstly, it's a general gift from the nature. And the, think about those sheep who who eat those grass every day. They would not discriminate every every single grass they eat. They would not say to the grass, "You look too bad. I don't want to eat you," or "You look good. I want to eat you." And the grass, on the contrary, would not say, "Oh, this sheep." It's so ugly that I do not want you to eat. They would not discriminate anything, anyone, any animal, any being. So they would just be there, and they would love to welcome, you know, those animals to eat them. So this is a good example of showing what we can learn from nature. So I, I know it's a very funny example, but the thing here is that nature does not discriminate everything. That includes every being. They just accept the fact it is what it is. So the second example here would be one of the entity that's being talked again and again in Tao Te Ching, which is water. So there's a saying in Chinese called "shang shan ruo shui," which literally means the best, the superior goodness is like water. So why it is the first thing we need to know about water is its tenderness. Even though it's very tender, but it could be the strongest. For example, the same drop of water, it, if it Drops again and again, and again for maybe hundred of years on the on the rock. It will probably poke a hole through this rock, through this rock. And in real life, think about all those influencers, be it Tony Robbins, be it Gabriel Bernstein, Brandon Burchard, or you know, you name it. There are so many that's out there who are being so successful. And one thing that really make them. So successful is the art of delivering. So I remember when I was watch one of the one of the lectures by Brandon Burchard. He said this one thing that every time when he step up to the stage, he would say, "Here you are." Instead of some of the lectures, especially someone who's very self serving, they will they will be like, "Oh, here I am." So you can probably tell the difference here. Which which is one is you always prioritize others in front of yourself, and the other is more prioritize him or herself in front of everything else. So learning about Asian Chinese culture, no matter who, like which stage you are learning from, it really a lot of them has taught people about how to work with your own ego and what we can learn from the nature to. Kind of, you know, just let go of your ego, let go of all the attachments, which I'm going to talk about more in the future if you can understand in today's video. But one thing that's super clear here that we can learn from Tao Te Ching or the Law of the Universe is that to live in abundance really means to empower others to do something that's good for the greater good. Not just for yourself, but for others living in this world as well. And this is what something that will make you fulfilled, and that something will actually sustain. To blossom as a human being doesn't really mean you yourself is blossom as a human being, but it also means to help others, to empower others, to actually let's blossom together. And that's one of the most important thing I've learned from all those Asian Chinese culture is really to give.
one last thing I want to share about, which is more personal, but it's definitely something I learned from Asian Chinese culture that kind of changed my perspective or helped me make sense of my own life. So I I know it's a little bit sensitive to talk about religion here, but for me,、um, I do not mind sharing because I'm always just want to be as transparent as I can. So. Yeah, so my a、uh, little bit about my background. My parents, my my dad's family, they are more like Christian-based family, and then my mom's family, they all. I mean, they are not all, but they were more Buddhism, leaning towards Buddhism. So they have a. a Like when I was young, when I lived with my grandma, she always took me to temple. Usually, you just like make good wishes, you know, for the upcoming year, because China is a big.、Um, it's a it's a country very big on Buddhism. And、uh, so one little thing I want to talk about here is that there's this one thing called three teachings in Chinese. It means Ru Shi Dao, which is a combination of Buddhism, Confucianism, and、uh, Taoism. And those are just three things that kind of represent all, which is the foundation for all Chinese Asian Chinese philosophy. So come back to my family. I think growing up in this special family occasion really helps me to be a More open-minded person. So that means whenever I approach to different people with different beliefs, I'm always making sure I'm being as open-minded as I can, and I like to listen to their ideas. I think there's something you can learn from every single thing in this world, and it's all part of the learning. And、uh, just like what it says in the book, The Power of Now,、um, which I highly, highly recommend, it says there's to some extent there's really nothing as a negative thing. We identify things as negative because we are adding our own judgment. But when you really let go of your own judgment and when you really accept everything the way it is, that will be the time when you truly find your inner peace and freedom. I think that's the basis for everything. Just respect each other on a human level. No matter what you believe in, no matter who you are, no matter what you believe. But I respect, I love you, no matter what. I think that's. What I'm trying to get into, and just respect and accept everything the way it is, and not to be judgmental about towards a lot of things. And, and I feel like as a human being, it is a very privileged thing to do. So definitely, I don't want to waste this life. I don't want to waste my time, and I want to try to help others. I think that's what nature has taught us. You know, just being selfless, and I think that's the key to fulfillment. So that's it for today. Three things plus a little, you know, background about me, what I've learned from Asian Chinese culture, and hope it really helps you to understand at least a little bit about what Tao is. And I know it's it's very limited. I'm definitely going to make more video like this to really let you guys know what does Asian Chinese culture teach us to be a fully fledged human being, and how can we make sense of them? How can we connect to today's world? To Just live happy. I think that's the that's the key, right? Everyone here wants to live a meaningful life, want to be happy, but you don't know how. And I think, for me, Asian Chinese culture is something that is kind of、um, really teach me to be how to be happy. And I want to share this with everyone that is interested in, which happen to be one of the things that being kind of advocates by Tao Te Ching. You know, like the the Tao, the universe, or the God, or the Buddha is not going to judge you who you are, what kind of life you are living. You can just as long as you blossom as a human being,、um, and you are willing to take the consequences of your own behaviors, your own you know set of、uh, words. So no matter what you are, what whatever energy or things you are putting out to the universe, if you want to put out all the negative thing, you are definitely going to take the consequences of that. So that's. One thing I learned from it, and I feel like it's super important to be able to learn to take the ownership of your own life, and also be aware of the energy you are putting out there to the world. And that's the biggest takeaway.